Well, if you're new in the area, you've never been here, this is 3rd Street. This is a hill that will take and either break or make you. It's, the grade is really ridiculous. I wasn't on the, the, the where the cars drive. I was up here on this one. And once you get past that break right there, it's almost like straight down. <laughs> it's really fast grade. But I did it. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to get where I can go up in in and uh, make my way to Rogersville that way. I could go past Green Bridge, and uh, but there's some big old hills that way too. And I, I, I don't know. I like doing it the way I like doing it. Therefore, while I thought, uh, yeah, I'll tell you the best time to go across Green Bridge, and that is in the hot, hot summer when it's 100 degrees. If you go that way from Rogersville, coming to Ozark, there's a lot of shade. I said I was going to do it last year a few times. I think because it's downhill, you ain't got to worry too hard about them big hills. But uh, I think I might have did it once or twice last year. It really didn't even get hot in my book. I'm from Mississippi, and uh, hot to us is like 115 with a heat index of 120. And we played out in it. Slept in a house with a window fan. Grew up that way. First air conditioner I ever seen in a house. I, it blew me away. I must have been about five years old. And uh, we walked up in that house and all of a sudden I realized it's mighty cold up in here. And that's when they introduced me to air conditioner. But when I really wanted one, when I got grown, I bought it. I bought my first air conditioner. Only air conditioner to that point that I ever slept under. <laughs> So the heat don't bother me and I'm going to take advantage of this weather. Like I said, they got uh, a prediction for Wednesday or Thursday that it could be a, a ice or snow two, three inches, four inches, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to go on record and tell you that ain't going to happen. I was able to move the last one and I'm going to move this one. And people go, well, what are you talking about, buddy? You can move the weather? Yeah, we all can do it. It's not just me. Sometimes I, I actually just pull back from even thinking about weather and just let it naturally have its ebb and flow. But I'll just show you on this next coming snow. Uh, I need two or three to join with me in believing that it ain't going to happen. And I don't want you to be working at KY3 because you contaminate it <laughs> with their meteorologist. You gotta believe in a, the metaphysical reality of our power of our thoughts. We can move that snow out of here, no problem. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. I've got my mind to go all the way to the red light and turn around. I'm walking. <laughs> 